What's up, y'all? It is Spicy AF, and we talking about this crazy story of a 61-year-old man who married his now 18-year-old goddaughter. But when you see her on this picture, she was a little baby that he was supposed to be watching over. It makes you think, what was he doing to her? Anyway, Deja responds to a bunch of backlash she's getting. Let me read some of it to give y'all an idea of what the girl is upset about. People love to call me a child because I'm 18. First of all, I've grown as okay i take care of all four of my kids work full-time have cars paid in full and stay home with my man we only go every so often i don't go i don't got time or energy to deal with no hoes that's some that got something to say about little days y'all mad because pop i'm popping my y'all see what she's saying all right so you get the point it's something about young girls that gets with older men who are you know they with and these girls get very upset and lash out on everybody Reminds me of R. Kelly and Azriel, to be honest with you. And later on, Azriel turned to R. Kelly and had a different tone. Let's see if this is going to end up happening after the backlash. Here's what dude said. It seemed like I'm the only one in this town who may have married a young one, but since they got some talk about look like you girls are jealous. Right, right. Well, somebody pulled up some information showing dude is actually 61 years old. Now, I don't know how true this is, but it does show that a document from Michael was that showing he was arrested in 2014 says that he was 54 at that time so this means that michael is lying about his age wait he, he don't know shit like you said like y'all said how i'm young and ain't my mind ain't open all the way okay well a young nigga is even worse than a young female why the fuck would you think that i want to sit around and be with a young nigga that want to fuck other people and want to and don't got his mind made up don't know what he want don't want to commit don't want to get out his mama house don't want to do that why the fuck would i want that that's not what i want i don't want that i want to be with a nigga that know what the fuck he want in life i want to be with a nigga that got his stacked up his bread I little she don't re she don't remember when i was when she was with me i lost my kids to dcf a lot of y'all know i used to stop patty sold a lot of motherfucking drugs whooped a lot of ass went to jail a lot i was young and wild as fuck i don't apologize and i'd be goddamn if i apologize in a motherfucking moment but bitch, you said you married Mike because you need stability. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> your son, your your stepson, my little cousin, your little cousin, yeah, he he didn't know he didn't know whether to call you his godmama or his motherfucking god. I mean, his stepmama or his god sister. I say she she, she your god sister or your stepmama or your cousin. He said she my god sister and my cousin. See, it's a whole bunch of confusion allegedly the mom was dating dude before baby girl was even a woman this reminds people of the r kelly asriel and joycelyn situation okay now this gives me a whole different look on what i and feel about r kelly and all these types of people who has a desire for young minds okay now we know that r kelly was found guilty recently he lost the trial i was holding out and i was very loyal to him before his his trial before he got his opportunity to prove himself innocent but we know that he is not okay so i'm not even going there on this particular video but i'm gonna tell you this it's not cool it's not right it's nasty and deja yes you should be with the young person who don't know what he want yet you should be with a younger man who is getting his self together because you are a young girl you're 18 you're not even out of the teens yet she did had to grow up early and obviously you heard her mother her mom was wild and she had an upbringing where she was probably out there and wow and just too grown deja but that's still not an excuse for a grown man to prey on a on a baby the baby he held in his arms when he was grown so y'all you already from what i'm saying you see how i feel about the whole situation it's very nasty it's not right and i think that the me too movement needs to come after michael hogabuck just same way the same way they came after our kelly and a lot of the other men that they came after specifically they came after a lot of black men let me know what y'all think in the comments below and i'll talk to y'all later